hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time i am doing a really pretty set of birthday nails so i am going to be using a couple of different techniques the first thing is the water decals so that's what i'm cutting out now she already picked her little decal so with a small pair of scissors i'm just going through and cutting those out and these decals were sent to me by Apple's Discount Nail Shop 17. And I will leave their um, Instagram as well as their website down in the description for you guys to go check it out. But then after that, after I cut them out, I'm going to go ahead and do my base colors. So I am doing the holographic polish in the color Just My Luck on a ring finger, which be which will be the base for my bling. And then I'm going in with this perfect white on the rest of the fingers. And then I am going to be leaving one finger just clear on each hand because that's going to be the drip holographic now. Um, but yeah, this is in the color Perfect White by Madam Glam and it is a gel polish. And then as always, I do have a promo code for them. Alrighty, so after that, we're going to go ahead and cure that hand for 30 seconds. And I am using my Melody Susie UV LED lamp. And then for the other hand, we're going to do the same thing, except for we are going to change it up a little bit. So for this one, I'm doing the holographic polish on the middle finger, which will be the bling. And then for the rest, I'm just going to do the white gel polish. So we're going to cure that hand for 30 seconds as well and then we're going to go back and do a second coat on both hands and then again we're going to cure each hand for 30 seconds and I always do two coats it doesn't matter if that first coat had a good coverage I always 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 go back and do a second coat and cure each coat for 30 seconds. Alrighty, so after we do the two coats of the white gel polish, like I said, we're going to cure each hand for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to go in and do the water marble. And for that, I'm going to be using some Madame Glam gel polishes. I'm using Neon Sun, OMG Pink, Aqua Blue, as well as Girl Power. Once again, these are all by Madame Glam and they are gel polishes. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit of color on the nail. And I'm going to do three colors on each nail. They're just going to go from the top going down towards the tip. And then I'm just dabbing them with a little bit of acetone. Whenever you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're not just soaking the nail in acetone. You literally want to just dip your brush into the acetone. Wipe it off on a paper towel to where it's like a little damp but not just soaking and then just dab the color and we're gonna do like I said three colors on each nail and then uh, I'm gonna do the same thing on the pinky but I'm gonna switch up the colors a little bit alrighty so same thing we're gonna apply the polish we're gonna go in with our little brush with acetone and just dab the color around 
And then this next color is actually a regular polish, but it's also by Madame Glam. It's one of their colors from the Gelimentary collection in the color Sicily. And then even though this one is regular polish, we're still going to have to cure the other nails only because those were gels. And then you could always add more color if you feel like it's too sheer. Just go back and add some color and dab it with the acetone as well. But again, we're going to cure those for 30 seconds and then we're going to do the same thing. On the other hand, the colors don't have to be in a certain order. I'm just doing them randomly. But again, you just put the color on the nail, you dab it with the acetone, and that's it. You also want to make sure that while you're doing this, you wipe your brush off in between each color because you don't want the colors to just blend a lot. You want them to blend like right where they meet but not everywhere else if that kind of makes sense i kind of just confused yeah <laughs> so again just make sure that you wipe your brush off a lot while you're working Alrighty, so for the decals, you do have to make sure that you take the little plastic film off the front of it. So as you can see, I used a pair of nippers. Now all of them would not have them and it's literally just like a little plastic on the front of it. And it's clear as you can see, this one actually didn't have one. So I went ahead and just put it in a little dappen dish with water. It does have to be water. And then you just let them sit in there for a few seconds and then they're just going to slide right off the little paper on the back. And then you do want to make sure that they're still a little bit damp when you're doing this so it just slides right off. So once it's off, you just place it wherever you want. As you can see, it just easily moves around. But when it starts drying a little bit, you can stretch it out. As you can see, I'm going to be able to make it a little bit longer so it reaches closer to the tip. But don't stretch it out too much because it will take away from its quality. So again, just with your finger, just rub on it and you're going to be able to stretch it out a little bit. Alrighty, so once you have cured that nail, I'm going to go in with the chrome and I'm just going to dab it on the nail with a makeup wedge sponge. And as you can see, it's only sticking to the part where the top coat is. So you do have to use a non-cleanse top coat. Again, I'm just rubbing it on and then I'm just going to dust the nail off and I'm going to do the same thing on the other finger. And this was the same chrome that I had on my website. And then the makeup wedge sponge is just the ones that I use for my um, ombre nails, which I get from Dollar General and after that I'm, I'm gonna go back and do a top coat over just that just how it looks I'm gonna go back and apply a top coat at the end but then I'm gonna go back in and do the other decal on the thumb and again this one did not have a plastic film on the front it's just all the way clear with the letter in the middle and then I'm just gonna place it closer to that cuticle area and again you just move it around with your finger and position it wherever you want and then I am gonna just go back and apply some blink around this one and again these decals are from Apple discount nail shop 17 I will leave their link in the description and also their Instagram page and I will have a promo code for them 
But now I'm going in with some hard gel and I'm going to be applying some big bling and then I'm going to go back in and fill in the rest of the nail with my smaller bling. Again this is some hard gel so this one does have to be cured and we're going to cure that for 60 seconds. Same thing for the other hand, we're going to go in with our hard gel, we're applying it with a little gel brush and then after that I'm going to go in with my wax pencil and I'm just going to do a cluster of the 3D big rhinestones and then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds and I'm going to come back and fill in the rest of the nail with the SS6 and SS12. Okay, so to apply the SS6 and SS12, I'm going to be using my Mia Secret Gel Resin and then I'm still using my wax pencil. Again, that is SS6, which are the smaller ones, and then my SS12, which are the bigger ones. And as always, I'll just alternate from the two different sizes and I just go around the perimeter of the nail and just fill in the rest as I go and then I just keep applying glue as I need it. Alrighty, so after I finish filling up the whole nail with the bling, I always like to go back in with the Mia Secret Gel Resin and just like go around the edges to make sure that they stay on really good. And then for this one, I'm going to be applying some at the top and then some closer to the tip. And I'm also going to be spraying the bling with the Mia Secret little Mia Secret Gel Resin Activator which is the spray that basically just freezes the bling into place and I just feel like it makes the bling stay on so much longer so I highly recommend that if you're using the um, gel resin that you also get the activator to go with it as well. Okay, so for the rest of the nails, I'm just going to go in and do the small rhinestones around the cuticle area. And like I said, I'm going to do that on the marble nails. And then I'm also going to spray those with the activator. And after that, I'm just going to go back and apply the top coat. So I did the top coat so now we're going to let that cure for 60 seconds and I'm going to do the same thing on the other hand. We're going to go back and fill this nail with the SS6 and SS12. We're going to do rhinestones on the one with the decal and then we're going to do the little ones around the cuticle area on the marble nails and then we're going to spray them with the activator and do a top coat.
So we did the top coat on this one as well and we're going to cure it for 60 seconds. I'm using my Melody Susie UV LED lamp. Now I'm just going to go in and apply some cuticle oil to the cuticles to make sure that they are moisturized. And then I'm just going back to file off anything that's kind of loose off the nail from the decals because we want the decal to stay on really, really good. And then that's pretty much it. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. They turned out really, really pretty. And yeah, so once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at GetNo32. And I'll see you guys next time.